Huh? <laughs> nah. Nah, I don't know them. Nah. Heavy count CMG. Yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Black America's addiction to money far outweighs our loyalty to community. Black America's addiction to money far outweighs. Our loyalty to community. Every other culture is after power. We are after dollars. Every other culture is after power. We are after the dollar. Every other people are in pursuit of power. And we are in pursuit of the unholy dollar. Every other group is in pursuit of power. We are in pursuit of the unholy dollar. First you get money, then you get power. That is not correct. I can tell you've been politically uneducated. I can tell you've been politically uneducated. Look at all the basketball players we got, scared to speak up. Look at all the football players we got, scared to speak up. Did you see Dak Prescott when he was asked about Jerry Jones? Did you see Dak Prescott when he was asked about Jerry Jones? Did you see D Dak Prescott shivering in his boots like he was butt naked outside in the snow? Dak Prescott was so scared of saying the wrong thing about old Krusty. Dak Prescott was so scared about saying the wrong thing about old Krusty. Dak Prescott was so scared about saying the old thing about the wrong thing about old Krusty, he couldn't even answer the question. Dak Prescott, um, I haven't processed. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to say nothing against old. I'm biracial, so I can be on Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, I like you, bro. I'm a Dak Prescott fan. Don't you ever again in your life bring up your biracialism. Dak Prescott, I'm talking to you. Quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Don't you ever again in your life bring up the fact that you are biracial and use that as an excuse for why you can't hold a racist accountable for preventing the school desegregation so our children can get an education. Dak Prescott, you was wrong for that, bro. Dak Prescott, you was wrong. You had no business bringing up your biraciality. You had no business, Dak Prescott, bringing up your biraciality as an excuse for why you couldn't hold Jerry Jones accountable for his role in preventing school desegregation in Arkansas. Come on, Dak Prescott. Come on. I saw nothing but fear. So you Negroes who think money equal power, you really think money equal power. Really? Show me where. Show me. I'm looking for that. Show me with Oprah Winfrey. I'm looking for that. Show me with Tyler Perry. I'm looking for that. Show me with Bob Johnson. I'm looking for that. Show me with Puffy Combs. I'm looking for that. Show me where money equals power in black America. Because every Negro we know with a lot of money has a lot of fear. Every Negro we know with big bucks is a big coward. So money don't equal power, you thirsty Negroes. And this is why they're going to use our own reparations narrative against us. This is why they're going to use our own reparations narrative against us. This is why they're going to use our own reparations narrative against us. A cash payout for systemic dehumanization, systemic genocide, and all you want is money. You have lost your mind. 